Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new player of the month, Andre Silva, to review today. I'm sorry that the morning reviews are a little bit later. Uh, it's because I do sleep until like 12-ish so that when the content comes out at 1, I just have all that. Like I have the time close so that when I wake up, I just get my morning coffee and then boom, I'm getting, I'm getting ready to do all that 1 o'clock content. But with Andre Silva, ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a look at someone who's 6 foot tall with medium, medium work rates, right footed, 4 star skills with a 3 star weak foot. Wish he had the 4 star weak foot to be honest. Uh, in game player traits, he does have the outside foot shot trait which compensates well for the 3 star weak foot. In game, he's got 87 acceleration with 77 sprint speed. I like that the acceleration is higher than the sprint speed regardless of it being low for the meta of the game. Uh, uh, we are going to be giving him an engine chemistry style because he is a six foot tall player. So improving his balance, agility and dribbling as much as possible while having 88 reactions and 88 ball control will definitely be a really nice thing to have uh, because his base card stats for shooting is actually pretty solid. I'm really hoping that this card gets a team of the season in the future uh, and, you know, maybe they give him a four star week though because it just obviously fits the meta of the game nicely. But he does have 95 attacking positioning with 92 finishing, 89 for shot power. 89 for volleys at 84 composure uh so his base card stats for shooting is obviously very good as well uh with a card like this you could potentially give him a different type of dribbling boost because i still feel like he'll need that to be as responsive as possible but regardless i do think that the engine is definitely going to make the most sense for a card like this most people are either giving him a hunter or an engine because people really like the pace in this game, obviously, right? But for me, I always aim for a better general experience. Uh, with the cards passing for base card stats, it's good as well. 86, 74, 86 curve at 89 vision is very good because with the engine chemistry style, we will be boosting it a lot as well. So this is why I'm telling you guys that, uh, you know, he's giving me a lot of cam vibes. Uh, this card also has an average body type, which will definitely be interesting to work with as well with the dribbling stats that he has with the engine chemistry style uh, dri uh defending on the card he's got 93 for heading accuracy 93 for jumping so you know if we ever do cross the ball in the air you know you can uh you can uh, potentially score a header with him he's got 84 stamina with 81 strength and 83 for aggression so um yeah i mean uh you know me i'm still gonna use this card because i'm a freak so i'm gonna be using the 4231 for the sake of the review uh i'm gonna be using forsberg as a cam andre silva up top with no instructions um, I just want to see how he plays as a lone striker because his work rates are interesting, obviously, because of the uh, because of the uh, medium medium, right? So let's see what we can do here. So we're going to do this: press after possession loss. We're going to do long ball here. That way, we can force the attacking AI out of him. Achoo, excuse me. Formation: Andre Silva off to the right side, perfect. And these guys are just on stay forward. Cool, so we'll be switching between the 3-5-2 and the 4-2-3-1. We'll see what the vibes are. Alright, let's see what your dribbling is like. His dribbling is actually good, guys, guys with the engine chemistry style. Nice. Very content about that. Let's see how he moves. I'm going to switch to the 3-5-2 this time. Woo. Try to get that first time angle right there. Uh, I'll tell you guys this right now that his uh, attacking AI so far with the medium medium work rates is really noticeable. Uh, he's not the uh, aggressive type of player, so you may want to force a get in behind instruction out of him or a target man instruction because of the body type that he has. Oh, I put way too much power behind that finesse shot. Would have been nice though. Would have been nice. First time, let's go, baby. Good job. Let's go. At least he actually goes into the empty space from the uh, obvious, from the obvious empty space that opened up. Let's go, baby, my boy. You can kind of see that a get him behind instruction would definitely be nice for a card like this in a situation like that, right? A little build-up play here. Little tap. Oh, thought I had the angle right there. That would have been perfect. This is an obvious one, right? So you see? So you see how he runs in a straight line? So it obviously shows you that he doesn't have the best attacking AI. Uh, because in a situation like that, it's really ideal for them to angle themselves, right? Uh, could have potentially scored that if I did a first-time strike right there. 
angling themselves in a situation like that is definitely way better, but we move. <laughs> it's funny because I did a fake shot shot and then his defender blocked me. And then um, I thought I was going to be able to get that shot off again. But we go, we go over the bar there. The engine chemistry style is definitely helping him a lot to make him more usable for sure. So pretty cool in regards to that. There we go. Get him on the shot cancel. Get him on his left foot. Decent base card stats for finishing. He scores that opportunity. Going to force our arm right here. Call him back. There we go. See, his dribbling you could definitely work with for sure. I'm going to do an angled run upwards here. Wait for that opening. Didn't pass to the right person. It's going to cancel his run eventually. Yeah, so his attacking AI is decent, boys. It's not like amazing, good, or great. It's decent. It's not generic, at least, which is good. Okay, guys, I'm going to switch to the 4 2 3 1 this time. I want to see how he plays as a lone striker. I, I'm actually scoring with his left foot, dude. <laughs> I'm actually scoring with his left foot. Look at that. This card would be really cool to get if he's a team of the season. He's doing really well for Frankfurt this season, to be honest. Getting linked with Manchester United and stuff, you know? My boy. Boy. There we go. Nice pass. Oh, I wanted to try the cross right there for the header. It's, uh, it's, you know, heading is not really an effective way to score, but if a player has it, you could try it, right? Oh, well, still made it work, though. We'll take that. He's definitely a physical type striker, right? So, you know, even if you have him as a striker and you want to have him on target, man, that would definitely be cool, too. We get that angled run right there. Cancel it. It's time to come back. Yeah, the way that he moves around the 18 yard box is definitely not the best attacking AI, but you can make it work, right? Target man would definitely be really, really nice for him, guys, for sure. As a matter of fact, I want to try him out with target man. Because you notice that he gets into an offside position. He doesn't really angle himself nicely to get back into position. So that's the type of, that's the type of stuff that you have to work with, obviously, right? Cards like this, you need to force uh, instructions out of them for better attacking AI around your other players, right? <clears throat> thing about this team, too, is that uh, it actually works out perfectly because Forsberg is super aggressive, right? So it kind of opens up the space really nicely. Oh, I'll try that finesse shot again. A little bit more power, I think, would have scored that. That's a useful cross. Huh. That's funny that Witzel scores. I was going for Andre Silva there. <laughs> Would have been a cool highlight. See, target man, I can kind of like just work with him. Pass the ball off, pass it to other people. He'll still make those runs, right? But you see how he kind of comes close to me and offers himself? That's like kind of what I want to do. I'm going to go for an angled run upwards here. Open up the space like this. There we go. Nicely done. Great goal. Forsberg's aggressive attacking AI, man. That thing never changes, dude. Never changes. All right, guys. So final verdict on this Andre Silva card. So I enjoy using him, obviously, for the Portuguese sentimental value. But he is a sentimental value FC card. Uh, for me, personally, with the engine chemistry style, uh, he's really fun to use, I think. With 92 acceleration, 82 sprint speed, uh, it's more ideal to use him as a cam. However, if you want to go for this realistic feel in FIFA, use him as a target man striker because his base attacking AI is not the best, right? Uh, he doesn't really understand when to go back into an onside position, when to make uh, specific angled runs. He'll do it like maybe 20% of the time from very obvious opportunities, but he won't do it on a consistent basis. So uh, I immediately realized that a card like this on a target man instruction works really nicely because... Target man doesn't mean that they'll never make a run. They definitely will. But with target man, they offer themselves more. So they face your direction. You take that touch. You take that instant uh, 
pass or instant touch than Shaw with a finesse shot. And he can totally do that because, you know, with a card like this, his base card stats at 95 attacking positioning, 92 finishing, and 89 shot power, you could definitely work with, right? Uh, hopefully for his team of the season, they give him a four-star weak foot. It would definitely be very nice. But even with his three-star weak foot, we were still able to score some pretty nice shots. If he had the finesse shot trait, it would have been very, very nice. But uh, it's an enjoyable card to use. Uh, again, like I said, he doesn't have the best attacking AI. The engine chemistry style definitely does help with his uh, six-foot height and average body type. So I do highly recommend that you give that to him for the plus 10 in balance and plus nine uh, plus 10 in dribbling because i think it, it will make a huge difference for a card like this and it's important that he has the 88 reactions and the 88 ball control to be able to compensate for those two things that the card has right so um it's a fun card to use it is a concept card that we call here on the channel right he's 54k so it's not a lot of money to work with uh and it's a card that if you're portuguese or you want to work with a card for sentimental value fc you can put them into your squad for very cheap until the team of the season version comes out so um, i enjoy using him it's an 87 rated you know the difference between that and an 84 is kind of decent in my opinion so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy the video i'm definitely going to complete them on my main account because i'm a freak like that so yeah i'll see you guys later peace out dudes love you guys